Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this given radical expression 7 minus square root of 15 minus the square root of 16 minus 2 times square root of 15. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and as you can see that we are dealing with so many radicals so we are going to go from inside out. Let's focus on this part, this radicand. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and manipulate this one. We can write this 16 as 15 plus 1 as you can see in this next step. Now let me go ahead and tweak this 15. 15 could be written as the square root of 15 and then a whole square. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Therefore this expression could be written as this first one is going to be square root of 15 whole square plus 1. I can write it as 1 square minus 2 times square root of 15 and then times 1. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square is same as a square plus b square minus 2ab. If I call this side as an a, this as a b, then this whole thing could be written as square root of 15 minus 1 whole square. So therefore I am going to replace this radicant by this simplified form. As you can see in this next step I have replaced this part by this simplified one. And now we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with the square root of 7 minus square root of 15 minus this part which is square root of 15 minus 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign. So that is going to give us a square root of 7 minus square root of 15 and that is going to become minus square root of 15 and then plus 1. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. 7 plus 1 is going to give us 8. And this uh, like term that's going to give us minus 2 times square root of 15. As you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's focus on this radicant. 8 minus 2 times square root of 15. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and manipulate this expression. I'm going to write down 8 as 5 plus 3 and this uh, square root of 15 could be written as square root of 5 times square root of 3, isn't it? As you can see in our this next step, let's go ahead and tweak this uh, 5. 5 could be written as square root of 5 and then a whole square. Likewise, this number 3 could be written as square root of 3 and then a whole square. As you can see in this next step. Now let's recall this identity once again. A minus B whole square we are going to apply over here. So this whole thing could be written as the perfect square of square root of 5 minus square root 3 whole square. So therefore we can see that this whole radicant has been simplified to this one. So therefore we can write this whole thing a square root of this thing. I'm going to replace it by square root of 5 minus the square root of 3 whole square. And now we can see this square and square root they undo each other. So our simplified answer turns out to be square root of 5 minus square root of 3. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be square root of 5 minus square root of 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.